Hello friends, here is the answer to the quiz, the uh, malfunctioning retractor. And the answer is quite unexpected. There was only one person who got this right. And this was Dr. Farhan Belik of Syria. Congratulations to you. So let's move on to see what was wrong with the aberrant vitreous cutter. This was the abnormal cutter and my attachment was perfect. You can't really get it wrong because the longer tube will go into the pneumatic drive and the shorter tube goes into the aspiration line. This is the connection as you can see. It is absolutely spot on and perfect. However, when I activate the anterior vitrector and I go on to vitrectomy, you see that the bubbles are getting released in a pulse fashion almost matching the vitrectomy rate. And also you find that when I activate vitrectomy that the, the inner tube is not moving at all while the instrument is moving in a staccato fashion. Also the aspiration line is working fine because when I go into aspiration you can see that there is an aspiration happening in the aspiration line as well. So what can really be wrong with this cutter? Some people suggested that I got the tubings mixed up but the truth is the portion that goes into the pneumatic drive of the vitrector will not fit into the aspiration line as you can see at least in the Stellaris machine. Similarly, the aspiration line that connects to the aspiration will not go into the pneumatic drive of the vitrector in the Stellaris machine. Also, we find that the reflux button when it is pressed will not lead to the release of air bubbles as happened in this case. Now let's take a normal cutter and this is the way it functions that when you activate cutter the inner tube moves. So the problem in this particular case was not with the tubings or the attachment. The problem was in the vitrector handpiece itself. Now there is a diaphragm in which the pneumatic drive will press on this diaphragm and which will cause the cutter to move down and then it is returned back with the help of a spring mechanism. This is known as a single pneumatic drive spring return. Now in this particular handpiece this diaphragm was broken or fractured and this is the reason why the air instead of moving the diaphragm and making the cutter move back and forth was actually passing by the side of the cutter. The cutter was not moving at all and this air was then bubbling out of the handpiece near the tip. This happens when you eat your several times or if you inadvertently drop the vitrector handpiece. The final answer to the question is that there is nothing wrong with the tubing. Even a reflux button will not cause the air bubbles to bubble out, just cause a little amount of fluid reflux and the problem lies in the vitrector. So if you have a problem like this, you can always try to change the vitrectomy unit and see if it is functioning normally, which is what happened in my case. I thank you for your attention.